Okay guys, so this is how our new colorometer works that we're going to use up at the wastewater treatment plant. It's a little different than the uh, last one we were using. It doesn't have a flappy lid. That's all taken care of by the shape of the caps. All right, so go ahead and pull out your um, acid drops. These are our um, pillows, our regents. These are the two um, vials we're going to use for our testing. They um, they're a little different than the glass ones we've been using, but what they do is they allow us to read all the way from 0.1 all the way up to 8.0 milligrams per liter. So uh, this is going to work out really nice. So go ahead and take a clean um, vial, fill it up to the five milliliter mark. That's just above the flat area, just like so. And uh, what we do before we put any um, regents in it, any of the crystals, uh, we go ahead and line up that arrow that's right there. It's right there with the arrow on here. Slide that in. Hit the on button. It should see, say CL8 on the screen. If it doesn't, just hit the mode key. There's only two modes, CL2 and CL8. We want CL8. Now that CL8 is showing on the screen, go ahead and hit the zero slash test key. It's going to flash a few times. As soon as it's done flashing, it's going to um, have calibrated itself at 0.0.0. .0, dot. Go ahead and pull that out carefully and uh, add your crystals to it. And this is so much of this is just like the other one, but uh, operating this, the, this machine is just a little different. So we go ahead and add our crystals um, and they're going to react with the chlorine we get our color again lining up that arrow with this arrow slide that puppy down in there hit the zero test button again it's going to flash a few times as soon as it's done flashing it says 2.65 so you go ahead and and mark that down we're going to take a second vial we're going to add our add our liquid to it here we go. I'm sorry I'm off the screen adding the liquid, but uh, all we have to do now is add our acid drops. What this does is it interacts one, two, three, four. It reacts with the chlorine in the solution, and so it ends up, um, I'll put the cap on and just give that a little shake. It, it uh, neutralizes all the chlorine so that whatever pink appears, Whatever these crystals um, interact with, it's um, it's not chlorine. So there are some things in, in the solution that these crystals will interact with that is not chlorine. And so we want to subtract what's not chlorine from what we just the number we just got here, the 2.65, so that we're actually listing only what chlorine is in the water. Take the arrow, line it up with this arrow. Hit that zero test button again, and uh, it's going to give us dot 44. Okay, so what we do is uh, it's a little higher than what I was expecting. That doesn't matter. Um, line up. I'm just going to test it one more time. Um, but anyway, zero dot 44 is what we're getting a second time in a row. So we're just going to subtract that from the first number that we got, and um, I'm just trying trying back here. So. Um, 2.71 minus dot 44, that'd be 2.31 is what our final reading would be that we write down in our book. So that's how you use the new uh, uh, colorometer that we're going to have to use at the wastewater treatment plant, our other one put working. And uh, go ahead and, and uh, rinse out your vials um, a couple times, clean them up, and uh, dry them off once you've done that. Um, return them to the kit and uh, turn the colorometer off and uh, we'll be done. So um, if for some reason when you turn the colorometer on just hit the mode button until it reads CL8 and then hit that zero test button to, uh, to go ahead and, and get that balanced. But that's how that's done.